hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today i'm gonna show you about the actual measurement of drain to source voltage of flyback converter and drain to source current of the flyback converter okay so let us first understand how you're gonna connect your current probe in the flyback converter and how you're gonna connect your voltage probe in the flyback converter so make sure that you use the voltage probe of 100x times of attenuation and you use isolated isolated voltage probe voltage probe and uh, for current measurement you can also use 100x probe probe and you can use the isolated current probe and uh, so in order to connect the oscilloscope you should use the isolator or isolation transformer isolator isolated to connect the to connect the oscilloscope oscillo okay so connect your current probe in series with your transformer transfer other end of your transformer and the drain pin of your ic a drain pin of your mosfet or else if you have the if you have the trace track connected between your transformer pin and the drain of your mosfet you can cut this trace and you can use the wire loop to connect between this point here this point here and this point here okay and uh, connect 100x current probe and isolated current probe and in order to measure the voltage you can all directly connect here between drain to source pin okay that is how you make connection but but if you haven't done this kind of measurement before and uh, if you don't have any experience measuring on drain to source voltage and drain current of the flyback converter i would not recommend to do this kind of measure without having proper experience or without having in supervision of the in the supervision of the experienced people okay so don't do by your own if you haven't done before that if you look at the waveform this is the real time waveform of this this the first one is the waveform of mosfet drain to source and the other one is the waveform of mosfet drain current okay this yellow one is the waveform of mosfet drain current and this one is the waveform of mosfet drain to source voltage this and if you look at the mosfet to drain to source voltage i see a small ringing here at this point here and then you have the valley kind of switching this is the valley switching and if you look at the current waveform here in yellow so in the current waveform basically it's it is working more or less in the discontinuous conduction mode that is dcm mode and if you if you want to understand the the current rise in the transformer primary binding for dcm mode is y equals to mx okay and uh, it does not have any constant part that means in the ccm mode the current rise in transformer winding is y equals to mx, mx plus c that means it tries linearly with having some constant value c but in the case of dcm mode the current rise in the transformer primary winding is y equals to mx plus zero okay so that means y equals to mx and that's what you see here more or less your your current is rising from zero to peak value and then again again it is coming down to zero okay so it follows basically the equation of 
y equals to mx and uh, if i want to overlap both vds and ids let's see i'm trying to overlap vds and ids and if you look at here this is the overlap of vds and ids and uh, let me zoom out if you look at here when your mosfet mosfet is off okay your current is the the transformer primary current is r ids is drain to source current is zero and when your mosfet turns on you see the current rise in the primary winding of the transformer you can look at this right so so at this point your mosfet is off you see the zero current here uh, and uh, when your mosfet is on you see your current is rising linearly you can look at now you can look at now right this this image so this time your mosfet is on and you see there is a current rising linearly in the in the primary winding of the transformer and uh, if you look at now further the let's let's see if the the transformer is saturated or not how you gonna see the transformer is saturated or not by using by looking the by looking the transformer primary current waveform okay let's see let's see if the transformer so if you look at here this this transformer primary current is rising with y equals to mx and uh, if it is y equals to mx what does it means that if you look at now if you look at now it is rising it is the slope of this transformer primary current is y equals to mx and you don't see any kind of exponential current here in the transformer primary winding are drain to source current of your mosfet what does it means that your transformer is not saturated irrespective of the load you have connected and if it would have saturated you see some strange waveform here the the exponential rise of the current and this but in our case here i don't see any an exponential rise of the current any deteriorated current waveform of drain to source of the mosfet and uh, this is the actual practical measurement done on the boards and that is how your mosfet drain to source and your mosfet drain to source voltage and your mosfet drain to source current looks like okay so hope now you can visualize how your mosfet drain to source voltage looks like and how your mosfet uh, drain to current source current looks like and if you have further question on this feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video